My name is Adam Coleman. I'm a contributor to the New York Post. And I want to write this article talking about Minneapolis's DA, Mary Moriarty. One of the reasons I want to write about this, amongst other articles I write, is because of the power that she has and the dismissal of actual victims that exist within her county that she's supposed to be advocating for. And by accounts, we have people who are victims or their family members of victims, and they're basically stating to her that this seems like a miscarriage of justice to give people extreme leniency, basically no jail time for their involvement in serious crimes like murder and even rape. And I wanted to talk about how many progressives who are in power throughout this country are dismissing regular people, are dismissing the concerns of people who are actually suffering, family members of those who have suffered. In the one moment they're supposed to actually get justice from the judicial system for someone who obviously committed a crime, they're given leniency. And it's like a slap in the face to people who've been waiting years for some sort of uh, justice to come about for them and their loved ones. The problem is for someone like D.A. Moriarty, she is much of an ideologue. And from her standpoint, she sees the judicial system as inherently flawed. And because it's a flawed system, she has to be someone who helps to save the most unfortunate people. And in her case, she made a promise to save the youth who are uh, being incarcerated within her county. But she's gone to great lengths and great leniency for many heinous crimes that these teenagers who are involved in, you know, is it is it justice to give someone who's involved in a murder probation? Most would disagree with that. Even uh, uh, A.G. Ellis, who is much of a left-wing ideologue himself, thinks that's too far and a miscarriage of justice. She's doing something very extreme in a very short period of time, and she acknowledges this as being something that's extreme. But the reality is she's not thinking for the people who have trouble sleeping at night because they've lost somebody. So much of this entire situation is about someone who's gained power, who's wholly ideological, and is willing to run over the concerns of working class people just so she can fulfill her obligations to herself.